Hello people and welcome back to News Review. This week, the long-awaited collab is finally here. It's with Jujutsu Kaisen, an anime I have actually watched. Fantastic. Uh, if all goes well, this video should be uh, uploading at the same time that the update drops in the game, basically. So everything I talk about will already be in the game. Additionally, if you're a new player, if everything goes well once again, I should be releasing a new player guide right after this one so if you have any questions about the game in general please refer to that video without further ado let's get started first off there are eight diamond seal cards this time uh but a little different is that there's one main jackpot and three sub jackpots which are these four characters right here gojo yuji and people whose names i don't remember because i'm terrible with names uh was it megu fushiguro and nanami that's right First off is the team skill across all Jujutsu Sorcerers. When both leader and ally are Jujutsu Sorcerers, um, according to the number of Jujutsu Sorcerer members in the team, at the end of each round, Cursed Energy will appear at random positions. So the max six Cursed Energy positions, and for each Rune Stone dissolved in a Cursed Energy position, Calm Account plus two, uh, that Cursed Energy will disappear, and Jujutsu Sorcerer members uh, deal times two damage to Elves and Demons additionally. Also, upon the skill activation of a Jujutsu Sorcerer member, invisible enemies will be revealed, which is kind of a weird point. I don't really know what this is referencing. Uh, but first off is the main jackpot Gojo, a dark human. For his leader skill, human attack times 10, HP recovery times 2. Jujutsu Sorcerer members, HP and attack times 1.5 additionally. By dissolving 3 or more types of runes, so the team attack times 5. And Jujutsu Sorcerer members, attack damage ignores initial shield. Everything has the effect of everything uh, on both sides. This would add up to 100%. That's a pretty good uh, leader skill. It's not overly restrictive on uh, Jujutsu Sorcerer members, but as always, they do get additional HP and attack boost. For his team skill, he needs to be a leader. The ally can be whoever you want. Uh, whoever you want within the collab, that is. Uh, extend Rusu movement time by 5 seconds. Ignore burning, sticky, and black holes. Dodge the first attack of each enemy. This is really good. If you ever played with uh, Anya, you'll know that. Uh, Rune Stones of Gojo's attribute effect increases by 200%. There's a reason why it's written like this. Uh, by dissolving five more groups of Rune Stones in the first batch, you do two members, skill CDs minus one. At the end of each round, turn the fourth and sixth columns into enchanted Rune Stones, the same as the fifth column, basically meaning that you will have a wall of 15 Rune Stones on the right half of your board that are all of the same type basically by dissolving moonstones of the members attributes in the team team attack times five uh gojo and members of those attributes damage ignores puzzle shield and quintet elemental shield this uh this point about destroying the board here is slightly bad but gojo is powerful enough that i don't think this takes away too many points plus it is kind of controlled so you can you know put whatever you want on the left side if you can control that uh he also acquires domain expansion this will be a draconic power Gojo CD minus 5. Attack of all enemies will be lowered to 0 until they are defeated. Restore the board. Turn all the rune stones into enchanted human rune stones. Combo count plus 25. And Gojo attack times 5 and can overpower enemies and ignore his defense. Uh, effects 4 to 6 stay within the wave. Not sure how you can make number 4 stay within the wave unless you convert that every wave. I mean, every round, sorry. Uh, this ability can be activated uh, by tapping your draconic but it costs one activation so it's not only it not, not only depletes your uh draconic bar back down to zero but it actually consumes one use unlike some other draconic powers the reason why uh something was written a little weirdly is because when both the leader and the ally are a gojo uh and you have more than two gojos in the team so basically more than leader and ally uh when he's in the second column he becomes fire attribute the third column becomes earth and so on and so on uh until you get you can basically build a rainbow gojo team which is you know kind of funny but not at all needed and also i'm pretty sure that takes away from the shield solving ability that the team has moving on to his active it's cd6 uh hollow purple basically i don't know why they didn't just write that in uh releases gojo's lock skills Clears its fatigue, hypnotized, and winds windswept state. This is the newest thing that basically uh, stops you from using the character runestone. Uh, it ignores all of those, of course. Explode the three columns on the right to generate uh, enchanted light, water, and heart. And explode the three columns on the left to generate enchanted dark, fire, and earth. Basically meaning you have six columns of all six 
types of enchanted rune stones. For one round, the character's attack times five. After resolving rune stones, the first and second batches of rune stones to be dropped will be enchanted rune stones of the character's attribute. And Gojo ignores fixed combo shield and anti rune stone shield. This, I think, is what makes him, uh, you know, 175 diamonds in my eyes. I think that all these like skills add up together plus this really nice active skill honestly uh, of clearing the like clearing itself of everything exploding the board to have a fixed board and also ignoring anti runestone shield really sells it for me i think i'll definitely be pulling on the seal but if this doesn't sell you some of the uh sub jackpots might actually sell you more uh for his bonding skills it's with uh yuji and nanami basically just gives him way more attack and also the good old cd minus one when the character instead is triggered and it is not dissolved moving on to yuji a light human uh for his leader skill it's nothing really special just you know good old stat boosts when uh for yuji suit sorcerer and light members not human surprisingly uh, for his team skill he has a hp boost basically a stat boost combo with uh fushiguro and uh fugisaki where they will all get uh hp attack and recovery basically by the time it's 1.5 when he is a leader and the ally is a juju to sorcerer extend reduce movement time regardless by two seconds his own hp and attack and recovery basically all times two ignore poison everything has the effect of juju to sorcerer members attributes in the team juju to sorcerers ignore fixed combo shield when reduce movement ends at the specific range below the hp bar black flash will be triggered uh the more times black flash is triggered basically you get more effects if it's one time then Yuji, Kento, and Nobara ignore uh, damage using resistance. If it's two times, then they their attack times five. If it's three times, combo and EX combo count plus five. If it's four times or more, damage received minus 40%. The counting resets when Uso Moon time ends outside the specific range two times consecutively, similar uh, to uh, the Miku kind of thing, if anyone even remembers that. When leader is Toto and the ally is uh, Yuji, Toto and Yuji's skill CD is minus six after entering a stage, and at the beginning and end of each round, turn the first and first column to light rune stones, six column to heart rune stones. Everything has the effect of light and heart. And by resolving 15 or more rune stones, Toto and Yuji skill CD is minus one, and ignores initial shield. Toto is a card that actually his skills haven't been revealed yet, except for one combined skill with uh, Yuji. Uh, for Yuji's active, this is a default and active CD6. Explode the board, including frozen and petrified runestones, to generate a fixed board of enchanted runestones of all types. Fixed boards are always good for one round. The character's attack times four, and also launch an extra water attack as much as two times its attack. If an enemy is defeated, Yuji and Toto skill CD minus three. He also has combined skill with Toto, as I talked about a little bit. Uh, restore the board to normal restore all crack positions and explode the board to generate uh, enchanted human runestones of all types and for one round ignore equal combo shield and puzzle shield and runestones can be dissolved by aligning two or more of them this effect stays in play until 20 runestones of one type are dissolved this is really good because uh once again it's it's a skill that can restore uh cracked positions without having uh any sort of condition on the leader for his bond skills something special is uh if Toto is dual max, then when you trigger Yuji's character runestone, you can actually ignore burning as well. Moving on to uh, Fujiguro, a dark human. Standard attack boosting kind of leader skill, nothing really special there. When there's additional effect in play, damage received minus 30%. Works off combos for attack. Uh, same thing, he gets a stat boost with Yuji and uh, Uisaki. When he is a leader and the ally is a Jujutsu sorcerer, uh, his alters the attributes of gg2 sorcerer members into dark his own active cd minus seven after entering the stage extend moves to movement time regardless of by two seconds at the end of each round turn the bottom row into enchanted dark moonstones i don't really like that it's board destroying uh everything is the effect of dark dark has the effect of part by dissolving dark team attack times four and ignore his puzzle shield and gg2 sorcerer members each launches one extra attack of its original attribute uh he also has a draconic power domain expansion uh Fushiguro enters or stays in a hyper state for two rounds. His own attack times five can overpower enemies and ignores defense. And you also get time tunnel and you also get human trail. And when black and white zone is in play, dodge the first attack of an enemy each round and effects two to five stay in play within the wave. This also consumes one charge of your draconic. 
Next up for his active, this text is so small, you almost need a freaking magnifying glass to read it. It's CD7. Uh, you have four effects. This is basically like Dogda, which is why I said that the sub jackpots in terms of member potential might even surpass uh, Gojo. Because if you ever use Dogda, you know he's a card that's from like, you know, three years ago. And he's still insane because he has four effects in one active. I'm not sure why Madhead keeps printing these cards that have four actives in one, basically, because I think it's kind of overpowered. But they did. And so here we go again. Uh, the first effect, Totality, uh, turns all runestones into 10 enchanted runestones of light, dark, and heart, respectively. For three rounds, it nullifies, fo nullifies smog, sorry. Uh, ignores step damage, the character's attack time 3.5, and the character's damage ignores defense. Uh, Nui explodes the board to generate human runestones, electrifies all enemies, uh, and damage dealt to them at times 2. If it is a water enemy, damage dealt to it times 3.5. Max Elephant, deal a ward damage of 50 million to all enemies regardless of defense. For three rounds, ignore Burning. All members attack times 1.5 and ignore Duet, Trio, Quartet, and Quintet Elemental Shield. And Toad turns the board into Enchanted Runestone. Jujutsu Sorcerer members except uh, Fushiguro CD-2. For three rounds, ignore Sticky. All of those effects are, you know, useful in one situation or another. So just having this card is going to be really great. The last sub jackpot, Nanami, like human, once again, standard kind of uh, leader skill, although he does give a lot of uh, HP, it's times 3.7 just on the base, which is quite a lot. Uh, he works off seven. I think this has something to do with, like, if I can remember, it's like he used the freaking ruler and it's seven on everything. Um, extend the moves from one half by seven seconds. Everything has the effect of light, light has the effect of heart, combo count plus seven. Clear the negative state of electrified runestones, touch while moving, and turn them into enchanted light human runestones. non enemies damage ignores anti-runestone shield. By dissolving one or more groups of seven or more runestones, leader and ally attack times seven. Each launches three extra attacks. I'm dissolving one or more groups of seven or more light runestones. You ignore fixed combo shield. I uh, forgot to say, as usual, uh, it's when Nanami is a leader and the ally is a Jujutsu sorcerer. Remember, for his active, he is, actually has two actives. Uh, both for the first one is CD7. Remove Tornado for one round. The character's attack time seven. Turn 10 runestones at fixed positions into Enchanted Light and Enchanted Heart of fixed numbers and fixed positions. By dissolving seven light and three heart in the first batch, the character ignores initial shield, specific damage reducing resistance and defense. This is quite special. And for the second active CD3, the character enters or stays in the hyper state for three rounds. That's quite long. Uh, and turns three or seven random runestones into uh, human light human runestones. Non-light runestones rank first in priority. This random conversion is kind of bad, but the hyper state is quite good when combined with the first active skill. You basically turn this card into a great damage cannon that can ignore damage reducing resistance, which is a really rare skill. For his bonding skills, he basically just has even more attack in case you ever need it. That's it for the uh, jackpots. Moving on to the four sub jackpots. First off, you have Earth Human uh, Kugisaki CD7. Turn the top row into Dark and Earth and the bottom row into Earth and Dark. For one round, the character's attack times five. Ignores initial shield. And if the leader and ally are due to sorcerer members, the character's attack in the next round will be the same as this round. Kind of a special skill, but also kind of a limited one since... Uh, like basically damage remembering skills are very rare and this only works for the card and only when the leader and ally are due to two source members next up is maki fire human cd6 turn the top row into uh enchanted human fire runestones and the bottom row into enchanted human heart runestones run around the character attack times four and if there are two or more two members in the team uh ignores fixed combo field that's quite fine quite standard i think uh next Small prize in Umaki, Water Human CD7, restore the board to normal. CDs of all enemies will be laid by one round. If the leader is a Jujutsu Sorcerer member, CDs of all enemies will be laid for two rounds instead and fully recovers HP. And lastly, Panda Earth Beast CD7, explode heart runestones to generate enchanted beast earth runestones. If there are no hearts upon skill activation, turn all runestones into enchanted beast runestones. You do two members and beast attack times 1.6 and ignore its puzzle shield and this effect stays in play until heart are dissolved in the first batch. For one round, uh, if leader is a beast or jujutsu sorcerer members, beast runestones also possesses the effect of all race runestones and has a willpower effect. 
His team skill has a funny one with, it's with Yun Yang, uh, the good old uh, OC Panda that Madhead has. Uh, both their skill CDs will be minus 8 after entering the stage. I find that quite funny. And his bond skill is also nothing special. Everyone gets their own uh, exclusive Dragonware, of course, as well. This is basically just, you know, I don't think there's anything special in here. It's all around good, but nothing to write home about. And after all of that, uh, you get to the free cards. First off, you have Sukuna, who... Uh, okay, Madhead, come on, you gotta watch your spelling, Madhead. You, 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 this is the second time in recent memory you spelt something completely incorrectly. Alright, ignoring the typo in uh, Collect. Uh, you collect Sukuna's fingers to get Ryuman's Sukuna. And uh, this is basically an item collecting mission. You can purchase uh, Sukuna two times, which is fine. And to get more of him, you need to buy the gift pack. Uh, this is relevant to his team skill, which I'll cover shortly. As a leader, he's actually not that much of a meme. He is a dark and or demon leader. He actually has pretty good stats, I think. Like this leader skill is not that much of a meme. The team skill is not a meme either. It extends your movement time regardless by 5 seconds. And for each demon present in the team, you get more and more protective shields. You ignore burning and sticky. And uh, you get demon resistance at the end of each round. Asukuna's damage ignores equal combo shield and initial shield. And when black and white zone is in play, his own attack times 3. And this is, I guess, the point that needs to have a lot of Sukuna in the team. Uh, when you have two or more Sukuna in the team, everything has the effect of everything. When you have three or more, a uh, Sukuna skill CD minus one, attack times three. And when you have four or more, his own damage ignores fixed combo and defense. And this is a problem, kind of, because you can't get more than three Sukuna in the team if you don't buy the gift pack. Personally, I don't think this effect is that powerful, that it's like, oh, you paywalled the card's abilities. No, I, I don't think it's anything like that. To get around fixed combo shield nowadays it's honestly quite easy but i think this card is worth getting because it's like a free demon leader basically quite good he also gets his own domain expansion which is once again works the same way as all the other ones on the draconic uh he gives himself black and white zone and upon skill activation at the end of each round turn all rune stones into rune stones of all types of fixed numbers and fixed positions this is you know kind of underwhelming I don't think it's worth uh, one charge, but you know, whatever. For his active is CD7 for the cover HP. If leader is a dark member or a demon, refresh the protective shield for one round. Uh, you have like willpower, but a little stronger because it's applicable to boss skills, deducting a specific percent of summoner HP. Uh, if the boss has other skills, such as just ignoring your willpower and you don't happen to have enough HP, you will still die. That's what it says down at the bottom. Uh, launch, a duck, launch a dark counterattack as much as 1000 times the damage received to the attacking enemies, regardless of defense and enchanted moonstone shield. And in the next round, the character attack times 6 and launches 5 extra attacks of 1 attribute each. This reminds me a lot of Melodius's, uh active back in 7 Deadly Sins this effect there are a lot of effects here honestly uh dark demons that have dodged or absorb enemy attacks there have been three uh true dodgers in the past but all of them have actually been a collab card so if you don't have these be sure to grab sukuna and he has a bond skill with uh, yuji and fusguro not really that special it's dependent on what race the enemy is and we all know how good that is uh second lastly there is a ultimate stage card mahito water demon cd6 he gets two actives uh for his first active is cd6 by tapping a runestone on the magic circle of elements two times turn those types of runestones into enchanted demon water runestones and for a second active cd8 petrifies all enemies to alter the attributes into dark until the enemies are defeated each member launches two extra water attacks and damage dealt to dark enemies by water members times three additionally uh, effects two and three stay in play within the wave uh water cards to petrify there are also three of them uh two out of three are collab cards so if you don't have these once again grab mojito lastly there is the battle pass card uh kijoru a water demon this time cd1 basically a converter of uh accumulator rounds uh accumulator rounds times six is the number of runestones she converts to the max 30 runestones 
that's the only way I see this card being at all useful is turning the whole board into a uh, enchanted demon water zones but even then you have to wait like uh you have to wait five rounds which is fine but converters nowadays just aren't that good they like they simply aren't enough to make it into a team I don't think even her uh, dragonware doesn't really do anything it's like it's upon activation of the character's active skill but it's worse than uh the invitations that you can make out of the uh, small prize from ever of novelty moving on to the celebration events uh you get uh the diamond seal of course here we go four jackpots for small prizes uh you can you also can exchange a uh, UG Kushkuru and Nanami as usual using a glory stone the new ultimate stage is kind of uh whack I think it'll be a pain in the ass for a lot of teams because this first wave skill alternates in itself uh giving you a mask trail and then a black and white trail and for this second one it just like takes your dark rune stones and then even the sky drop ones and then if you happen to dissolve the dark rune stones your hp will just go down and then it nullifies your recovery as well which will just be a pain but people will find a way around it and the item collecting mission is here as well as i talked about before uh completing different missions will give you sukuna's fingers starting from each week there will be more and more missions and there's also going to be a mini game that you can get extra items to exchange for and lastly there will be a load of gift packs relating to the collab and a bi-weekly stage is coming back i believe oh no it's a well yes bi-weekly and ultimate stages so uh reneging supremacy zeus i don't think this is a that good of a card uh you know get one of them if you want for bi-weeklies these cards are just not good but get one if you haven't as well uh that is it for this week's news review if you liked it please leave a like if you have any questions leave down in the comments below and if you like it in general please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video see ya